If you guys are looking for some cheap coins on FC25, make sure you check out MMOEXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use my code REMA, you can get yourself a lovely 5% discount. So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, we have some 4-2-3-1 tactics and player roles to help you out in FC25 if you are struggling and don't know what to try. Um, if you're looking at this screen and thinking what on earth is that team, uh, essentially I have two accounts at the moment. So this one you're seeing here is like this Road to Glory that I'm recording for YouTube um, and I'm pretty much just using Chelsea. I haven't managed to even record a second episode yet because I just don't have the time. Uh, but yeah, this account's just like a uh, fun one where I'm just trying to do different things because this game gets extremely stale, man. If you just follow the meta and use the crazy cards that everybody's using, the same tactics, it, it does just get really boring. So I'm trying to switch it up. Um, and yeah, I do obviously have another account which I'm running with a friend uh, to have all that good stuff on as well for when we need it. Um, but yeah, that's essentially why. And um, yeah, with all that aside, guys, let's get right into the video. Okay then, guys. So this is the 4231 that we're using. It's the narrow variation. And you can see we've actually got a code today at work. So you can see it's just underneath that uh, title of 4231. So if you want to just copy it, uh, then go ahead. I know codes are really bogged out right now. Like sometimes you can't even see them and sometimes it doesn't set them up correctly. So just be careful with that. Um, if it doesn't work, just make sure you copy it if you want to. Um, but I am going to try and give uh, an explanation as to why I'm using what I'm using as well. So the 4-2-3-1 I love every year as I find it to be really reliable, it's consistent in many areas, it's always pretty solid defensively with those two DMs and the back four and it's also pretty good offensively with those three cams, uh, the striker and obviously you can use the DMs as well to build up and even now you can use like full backs so um, the 4 2 is really good every year, I really like it. So what we've got it set up with at the moment is I have it on... Um, counter for build up but this isn't super important i just found that i get better runs out of my players when i use counter but it doesn't really matter you can use balanced if you like short passing can be really fun but against those top opponents that are using those pressure tactics it can just get really really congested so balanced or counter is your best bet i'm using counter at the moment but again doesn't really matter too much uh, for the defensive approach you kind of just use whatever you feel comfortable with i'm using 59 at the moment just so we've got that higher line but my players aren't automatically pressing everybody i know a lot of people um where on earth is my uh, line gone uh, I know a lot of people like having it on high, for example, where you get that automatic um, press and then aggressive as well, which is like the 7100 depth from um, previous years. Uh, but I'm just using 59 because that's what I'm comfortable with. But again, you can change it if you like. Um, now moving on to the player role, so the most important thing. So without the ball, um, this is obviously what it looks like because it is a 4-2-3-1, so that's always what it's going to look like without the ball. Uh, and then when you have the ball, um, this is more what it's going to look like. So I'm going to keep it on like this so I can kind of explain it. I know it looks a bit messy, but I've been having some fun with it. So for the striker, we have them on Poacher Plus. Now the reason for this, um, sorry, we have them on Poacher, but obviously Jackson's got uh, the Plus version. So the reason we use Poacher is because uh, this player always makes those good runs and is always looking to score goals. They don't really get distracted with what they're doing and they're always looking for those defense breaking um, runs and stuff like that. So I really like Poacher, but there's nothing wrong with you guys wanting to use like a player that has target forward plus plus or you know advanced forward plus plus. It doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you feel comfortable with don't be forced into using something because somebody says it's meta you know we've finally got a nice very tactics uh, tactic system so if you want to just try things out go for it man it's honestly you know it's up to you what you do now for the central cam obviously felix is completely out of position because i I'm, i've only just started up this account and i ain't done too much with it but it doesn't really matter it does a bit but not really uh, so on this player the central cam we just have them on the playmaker role this is just so that they're looking to be that creative player you know you want them to be creative they are a cam uh, they do have a slight um they, they have a, like a slight license to roam but we don't put them fully on this Roman setting because we still want them to keep their position primarily so balanced is the way to go so playmaker balance on this player and on this left attacking midfielder we also have them on the same thing for kind of similar reasons to be honest just keeps them in that space where we haven't really got anybody else occupying it just you know has that we just have that creative player on the left hand side now for this right hand side I have Neto as a half winger uh, this is just to give us the, the, the width in the attack because the 4-2-3-1 narrow can obviously be very narrow so I have this player as like a half winger just so they act a bit like a winger but then sometimes a bit like a playmaker as well so you know it kind of just gives you the best of both worlds on this player 
Um, as you can see, by having him on this half winger instruction, he is quite far away from the rest of like the, the cams and the striker, uh, which is why we have something else here. So for the two DMs, uh, we have both of them on holding uh, and defend. Now, the reason I have them on holding is because you always want those players that are there in midfield to break up the play and help you out. If you send everybody forward, the moment your opponent gets the ball back, they're just going to through ball you and it happens all the time. So I have both of these on holding. Uh, obviously it's made better if you do have them with the plus or plus plus version but I have these both on holding here and then for this uh, right back we actually have them as a false back and put them on the balanced focus now the reason we have them as a false back is because it kind of turns them more into a midfielder when we're on the ball so we don't need Gusto my right back to be an attacking wing back or even a wing back because like I said I have Neto that is kind of covering that area on the wing so I don't really need Gusto to do that Instead, I kind of just put him in this false back role where you can see we have like a really bright green tile in between Felix and Neto, which is the space he's primarily going to occupy. Um, so basically, Gusto for me is going to kind of fill in that space um, where there is a gap from Felix and Neto and help us out there. And then we've also got Caicedo to cover that space as well. Now for the other fullback, Kukurea, the left back, we pop him on fullback and defend. Now the reason we do this is so we always have at least three defenders back at a time, as you can see here. This is very important because three defenders you can deal with, um, like you can deal with uh, defending when you have three back. It's much more difficult when you have two back. So you always want to have at least three defenders back. So we pop him on fullback and defend. So he kind of just slips into that back line, and it kind of just looks like you have three centre backs when you're on the ball. So that is the way we do that. And for the two center backs i have them both on defender but again if you want to try to stop you can and the keeper i also leave them alone so i know this can be a little bit confusing but essentially it just switches up the formation a bit so you know for example the right back is maybe going into a central area and then the cam is going into a wider area stuff like that just to just to switch it up a bit so i've been really enjoying this it is a bit different to what you might see but i have been really really enjoying this um so yeah, they are my 4-2-3-1 tactics. I'm going to try and go back uh, for the code again if some of you missed it. There you go. You can see it right there. Um, but yeah, the, the, the main thing I wanted to leave this video with is I'm already seeing on Twitter, uh, and I, I can't really blame people for it because obviously... You know, people want to know what the best thing is in the game, the best meta tactics. But um, don't feel forced to use something specific because, like, in FC24, you kind of had to use a specific thing in order for your players to move correctly and in order for you to score goals. In this game, it's a little bit different because every role seems to make a difference. Whether it's positive or negative, you can kind of just put together endless combinations with formations and roles to find what you like. So we've got a really nice varied tactic uh, tactic system so just be sure to experiment with it and and don't follow anything too blindly you know understand what the roles do and then try things out because that's where the fun is in this game i'm already seeing people using the same things and they're going to get bored within two weeks I, I i guarantee it so um yeah that's what i wanted to end the video with uh, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you did please be sure to drop it a thumbs up sub to the channel if you are new and uh, don't forget to turn on those notifications and um with all that side guys hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out guys and take care